Trap music has probably been the most popular subgenre of rap for quite some time now. It spawned a host of artistic offspring, and like it or not, it shaped an entire generation. You can always tell a trap song by its signature beat style, its stuttering kick drums and hi-hats, and of course, 808s and cents. Not long ago, both T.I. and Gucci Mane state claim as being the inventor of trap music. And whether you got off the porch in 2003 to T.I.'s Trap Music album or in 2005 to Gucci Mane's Trap House, you might argue that one of them actually did. But the fact is, the roots for what would later be crowned trap music was actually laid out years earlier than either of the two rappers. But as always, before we get started, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com. And in the last few videos we've done, we've been asking you guys to help us crack the thousand sub mark. As you may or may not know, YouTube has made it a rule to where you can't monetize until you reach a thousand subs. And as of the last video, we are about 70-ish or so short of hitting that number. Monetizing will not only allow us to hire more people so that we can produce more videos like this, but also to increase the quality of production. And we can't do it without you guys' help, so if you will, please smash that like and subscribe button and then hit the, the bell notification to be updated whenever we drop new content like this. But with that being said, let's jump right in. In case you didn't know, which I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video does know, but for those who don't know, the term trap is short for trap house, a term originated in Atlanta, Georgia for an abandoned house or infrastructure used to sell drugs out of. Although many thought that T.I.'s aforementioned trap music album was the first entry to the trap music genre, T.I. actually wasn't the first rapper to rhyme about a lifestyle of slanging, pimping, and hustling. Truth be told, artists like UGK, A-Ball, and MJG, and Master P were rapping about the streets in this fashion way before T.I. ever picked up a mic. The word trap began picking up steam in the mid to late 90s with the Atlanta-based rap collective The Dungeon Family. But to understand how the sound of trap music came to be, you have to go back even further in rap's history. It actually all started back in 1980 when electronic music instrument manufacturer Roland released the TR-808 drum machine. The machine's initial run was a relative failure, but it did manage to obtain a cult following as it was adopted by hip-hop DJs. The TR-808 is a cornerstone of modern hip-hop music. It's a source of the distinct hi-hats and bassy kick drum sounds used in trap music. As the 808 made its way to the south in the 1980s, producers found ways to boost the decay knob, which boosted the bass sound. And as a result, Two Live Crew's resident DJ and producer, DJ Toomp, was responsible for their bass-heavy sound and he would later take his talents to Atlanta, where he would then work with T.I. to help craft his sound, but more on that later. Producers like Manny Fresh and DJ Paul further revolutionized the sound of rap throughout the 90s and the early 2000s. Manny Fresh's work with Cash Money Records and the 3-6 Mafias when the smoke clears was not yet considered trap music, but it could be considered as the grandfather of what was to come. DJ Toomp, who I mentioned earlier, by now was working with T.I. on his projects, including the one that many think was responsible for the subgenre's namesake, trap music. Manny Fresh would also join forces with T.I. later on after he gained his breakthrough. Meanwhile, producer Shorty Red began working with Young Jeezy and Gucci Mane, and his fingerprints could be seen all over Gucci's Trap House and Young Jeezy's Let's Get It album. While Zaytoven produced Icy, a collaboration between Jeezy and Gucci Mane, obviously before their highly publicized fallout. These rappers working with these producers began to establish what would be considered trap music. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go back for a bit. So far, we've been talking more so about the producers who crafted the underlying beats to trap music, but the beats are only one element. What also makes up trap music are the lyrics. Trap music was born in the streets, tales of struggles and rough environments and this did a lot to shape the lyrics and yes trap music does revolve around the trap which is to say selling drugs but it's about more than just that in its own way trap music was the evolution of gangster rap gangster rap was created on the west coast by groups like nwa and in fact we did a video covering that that you really should go watch after watching this one but to sum it all up 
Gangsta rap was born on the West and migrated to the East. But by the time the South got it, they put their own unique spin on it. Groups like the Ghetto Boys, UGK, and A Ball and MJG were among the first rappers from the South to spin street tales with Southern flair, laying out the framework of what would later become trap music. Today, trap music has spawned its own evolution. Rappers like Future and Young Thug started building huge followings as the genre got bigger. While trap producers like Mike Will made it, went from working with Gucci Mane and 2 Chainz to Miley Cyrus and Beyonce in just a few years. The Chicago drill scene was also highly influenced by trap music. The sound was so influential that EDM producers like Flo Stradamus and Bauer began pushing electronic music subgenre called trap also. In 2015, newcomer Fetty Wap conquered the charts with his hit single Trap Queen. Produced by Tony Fad, Trap Queen peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, proving that trap music now included crooning as well. And although much of contemporary rap has become much more sing-songy, the trap influence is still present. And not only that, trap music has expanded to now include the ladies as well, making a name for themselves by rapping about their own version of the trap. And no, it's not the dope house, it's the strip club. And hey, valid point, cause if you ever had an in-depth conversation with a stripper, the strip game is a hustle in and of itself. So as we learned today, trap music was just as much about the producers that crafted the sound as it was about the rappers that have become household names off of it. Whenever we think about trap music, we always recall names like T.I., Gucci Mane, Young Jeezy, and the likes. But we can't forget about producers like DJ Toomp and Shorty Red who deserve just as much credit. So we hope you learned something today. And feel free to hit us up in the comment section and let us know if we left out anything. And if you'd like us to do a more in-depth look at some of the earlier trap artists and their careers. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As we said earlier, we are about 60-ish or so subs away from being able to monetize. So please help us hit that mark today. And if you like videos like this, liking and subbing to the channel will help us create more videos and also get the reach out so that we can grow more as a channel. So with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from Take Flight 214. Till next time, signing out. Peace.